I look tired. Red nose, red lips. We're recording. Oh, hi. <laughs> when Woo! there's some action going on, but you don't know what's going on. Who are you gonna call? Evolution! Okay. Oh, it's more like a get the evolution in black! Because for this Ghostbusters ripoff or remake or what? What do you call it? Reimagining, I guess. <coughs> this felt more like... This didn't feel more like a Ghostbusters ripoff. It felt more like a Men in Black ripoff. I don't know. Anyway, uh... It had some good parts. Come on. It was funny in some parts. It had some very funny butt jokes. Two... Uh, many, many butt jokes. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so Ira, played by David Duchovny, and Harry, played by Orlando Jones, are kind of school scientists. At the community college. Oh, we should talk about at the beginning, Sean William Scott's Wayne, we're looking over, sorry people, um is practicing being a firefighter oh, and sorry. it's at that point that he realizes that a meteor has crashed down to earth and his car went flying 200 feet yeah <laughs> um that's when ira and harry came to the scene to investigate where they first saw that it was a rock that bled and then they found out that they weren't rocks they were atoms or Molecules? Molecules. Okay. That kept dividing, 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 dividing. Uh, yeah. Uh, multiplying. The, yeah. Dividing, multiplying, yep. Addition, subtraction. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, and throughout this movie, it, Julianne Moore is listed in the opening credits, so we we're like, where is she in this movie? She doesn't appear until about 40 plus minutes in to this 93, 96 minute movie. So, well, long weekend. Was Indeed. she on break or something? Or what was going on? I, was, I told you she was going to be a scientist. A very dumb scient Well, No, she wasn't dumb, but a very she was clumsy. clumsy. She tripped and fell and yeah. people, dropped her books and, yeah. People, you think Denise Richards as a nuclear nuclear physicist or nuclear, yeah, nuclear physicist in the world is not enough? It's hard to believe. This takes it to 15. Okay. Basically, what's an example? Oh. I have no idea what's what's a good example. Then move on. I would say imagine Kate McKinnon's character from Ghostbusters 2016 as a scientist, but she kind of was an inventor. Okay. Okay. Imagine Melissa McCarthy's character from Tammy. If you found out if she was if that character was also a scientist. Okay. So anyway, the reason why I say it felt more like a Men in Black ripoff than a Ghostbusters ripoff is because uh, when I thought Ghostbusters, I figured it was going to be those four main people together, you know, fighting aliens, ghosts, whatever. weird creatures, pretty yeah. much. It's more like Men in Black in that David Duchovny and Orlando Jones are really, for the most part, the only main people that are fighting. That are fighting the ghost. Sean William Scott does come in, but about 45 minutes in officially. Well, he was in the beginning. Then he was sleeping at his fireman... At his fire... Yeah. Fireman test. And then he's back at the country club as a pool boy. Yeah, and then he's and Then wearing... he sees it... <laughs> <laughs> the chemical water yeah. that is filtering the pool. By the way, uh, this is not a kids movie. This I wouldn't. I would argue this is not a family movie either. It's PG thirteen for a reason. Don't watch. This had several moments that scared me, so I can't imagine like a young kid probably crying. 
or thinking, ooh, cool, look at that, yeah. Oh, cool, that's going to star in my nightmares for the next month. So Ira, to introduce the two students, he's, you know, a college played by, professor. Played by Ethan Supley and the guy who they call, the guy who you call when Ethan Supley won't return your calls. Because oh. he looked pretty much like him. He looked like Jack Black's character from Tropic Thunder with, like, blonde hair and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you talking about the students? Not the, not, not the Ethan Supley guy, the other guy that he was with. Okay. So, um, they, um, it was funny how Ira said, oh, everybody in this class got like an A, you know, because they had to discuss what a cell was. Yeah, and they and mentioned. those two raised their hands. Hey, ah, ah, wait, wait, wait. We got a C minus. Well, that's because you guys were talking about prison cells. And you both had the same paragraph. <laughs> but they did redeem themselves and they got an A. Yeah. We just spoiled that part. But, um, I so. Didn't say what it was. Eventually, all four of them kind of, kind of work together to solve, to get rid of the creature, the, the movie's Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Who really looks more like a... Do you rem If you guys have ever seen that Disney episode of Jesse where Emma had that blob experiment? Mm, I don't think I remember this that. This times 10,000. Okay. Okay. Um, any of you young people ever get a pimple? Oh, jeez, Justin, stop. Multi make that... Like, oh, that's grosser than this. 50 acres large. Uh, okay, you come up with a better example. Well, I thought you were going to discuss something else. You've already jumped mostly to the end. Yeah, because... I thought you would discuss the country club or the house on the country club that something was that's in where they first storage closet, you know. That house wasn't at the country club. Yes, it was. It was a few miles away. Yeah, but this thing was... Spreading. Yeah, it was a few miles away where it first started. Anyway. But it wasn't at the country club because you can't okay. really live at a country club. You live on the grounds of the golf course. No, you're... Oh, that's what you might be thinking of? No, I'm talking about with all of those ladies. Yeah. That's, that wasn't at a country club. That was several miles away. Yeah, but around the golf course, you have houses. Okay, fine. Whatever. So, anyway, um, man, you not only encounter a bunch of rejects from Men in Black aliens, you also get some, Shinobi, get ready for this, you also get some knockoffs from the Jurassic Park movies. Mm -hmm. Well, evolution, like I said in mm -hmm. the beginning. Taking from molecules to dinosaurs. Well, the dinosaurs they had were the flying to ones. To slugs. To, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you had a dog. No. <laughs> that didn't look like a dog. Are you kidding me? Slimer. Anyway. That looked like a next generation Slimer. Mm, maybe. If Slimer was doing an impression of a dog. Okay. Let's see what else. Um... Yeah, I need to find out who Carla was in this movie because she's played by Michelle Wolf, and I okay. would I did not recognize her. Maybe you can look up a picture of her on the I internet. Will. Um, so there's you gonna... there's a scene where it kind of feels like a a good example of that garden area. It kind of looks like a dystopian... The greens? No, the where that guy gets the fly in his suit. Oh, okay. It kind so of they looks went down like where this... where the meteor, meteor hit. If you guys remember... If you guys saw Ice Age Collision Course... Or what about that And there one? was that part with the hippies... That, but live action. 
I can't think of a better example. Can you? No. Everything okay. is on the food chain. Mm -hmm. Um, And then there's some product placement throughout the movie. <laughs> Along with... Um, what? Go on. Um, along with PSAs as to why you shouldn't shoplift and why sing <laughs> why we should all know the lyrics to You are so beautiful, beautiful. To, to me. Oh god, we're way off. <laughs> Well, we were more on than he was. Well, Sean, though, he attracted it. Um, or Wayne. Wayne's world. Yeah. Sean William Scott, yeah. Um, okay. So, oh, Dan Aykroyd is in the movie. He yep. has a bigger role than he did in Ghostbusters 2016 and Tammy. the governor. Tammy. The governor. Uh, you mean he's the governor. You know what? If Schwarzenegger played... Okay, I'm. I don't hate David Duchovny, but in this movie, it kind of needed a someone maybe a little more comedic than him. But he was popular. That's probably why they asked him. Okay. I was trying to think, like, who could you get that back then, like in two thousand and one or so, that would have been a box office success that probably could have done some comedicness. And I was thinking, like, maybe Matthew Perry from Friends, maybe? Maybe. Or oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. Yes, Arnold Schwarzenegger as, in this would be awesome! As a professor yeah. at a community college? No, 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 no. Hey. He anyway, was, hey, let's focus. He was a kindergarten cop. Yes, let's focus and get back to this, okay? It's not a doma. <laughs> okay, so anyway... You you go ahead. It basically says that the military is kind of dumb because nukes aren't always the aren't always the answer. Correct. Uh, Sarah Silverman is in the movie for about thirty seconds as an ex girlfriend to I thought Ira. It was an ex wife. No ex girlfriend. I think okay. they said. Um, and Ira wanted his shirt back in the restaurant. There's a love story between David Duchovny and Julianne Moore where opposites. Um, I, I guess we need to see the extended three, two and a half hour edition to figure no. out when they had chemistry. This was an hour and a half about. I'm just saying if there was any chemistry in this movie, that those must have been deleted scenes. Cause mm. I think they adventures, wanted to keep the action going. Yeah, but Adventures in Dinosaur City had a stronger relationship build up. Okay. I just rewatched that review. Okay. Um, the effects do hold up. Um, this movie was not very successful when it came out. I don't think it has a cult following. Um, in case you're wondering, we wanted to review this movie to cash in on uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, which, I don't know, can't, hopefully it's better than this. Um... How I would have done it is I would have had all f the way uh, I would have David Duchovny and Orlando Jones fine, but then I would have had Sean William Scott and Julianne Moore join them within like the first 20, 25 minutes. Yep. They both saved the day though. Because okay. because they were kind of split up when when. Uh, Sean William Scott, when he comes in, it's like anybody could have come in. The wife could have come in. Um, when Julianne Moore joins the group, it's like, okay. I guess she needs I'm to be coming with you. She needs to be in this. She needs to be in the group. Some. She needs to be in the group, and that wasn't established very well. Yeah. Yep. They both saved the day, though. There was this. There was this uh, student at the beginning that had more. Before we met Julianne Moore's character, I was thinking that girl was Julianne Moore. It's like maybe she just dyed her hair blonde and looks very young. No, it wasn't. 
But yeah, there were a lot of subplots and a lot of jokes that were just picked up and then dropped. Um, Drop like the napalm. I don't know what else to say. Um, it's July, so tune in next time when we review another movie. The ending is pretty cool, though. We are getting, folks, we are getting close to uh, the Die Hard ripoff that Kay has chosen. And we're getting close. Yeah, you already picked the movie. Okay. I and hope. we're also getting close to my special 150th movie review. Yeah. Starring an actor that's pretty popular that you, I don't think you've seen many of his films. Okay. And this film bombed, so my our 150th, it'll be spectacular. We'll, we'll make it work. Hopefully, as spectacular as a movie. It won't okay. Be a bomb. Bye. Bye.